We begin tonight's program with uh, Graham Leggett, who is the executive director of the San Francisco Film Society and the sponsor, of course, of the film festival, your organization. We're very pleased to have you because you're right, getting ready to do it, and by the time this program airs, it will have begun. Yeah, it will be in full swing. I used to say that a, a, a good organized affair is when the organizer need not be there. Yeah. And, and it looks like that's, you're very relaxed. So many films, hundreds of films. Mm, 237. 237. Last year, about, had 77, 78,000 people attended. Yeah, we hope to have a few more this year. That is just amazing. Uh, how do you do? Uh, how do you go through all the films? Because there's so many more films now, because mm. it's much easier to make a film in some ways. Yeah, how true. do you go through all those films to decide which ones you want to have in? Well, I have a crack team, crack team of programmers, organizers of various kinds, and we have some consultants in other parts of the world, in Latin America, in France, and in Asia, who help us. Uh, a lot of stuff comes over the transom. We have juries, uh, screening panels, I should say, around the city who help us, professionals. How many films city. do you think you actually go through to get the 250 or so, 37? If you were to count in everybody seeing everything, yes. I would say four or 5,000 times. That's what I thought. Yeah. That is amazing. Mm. How much does what happened at Sundance earlier mm influence the decisions you make now? Um, Sundance, we don't get a lot of films from Sundance because it's, it's late in the game at that point. We're making our final decisions. We're closing the program in early February. So most of the films that are in the festival we've seen prior to Sundance, but there are still some that we go for. And there are some that were in this year's Sundance that we'll be showing, like the documentary American Blackout, for example. Which is about? Which is about um, how the votes were stolen from, from black people. Democratic voters in Florida during the last uh, presidential election, mm -hmm. how uh, mostly minority voters were disenfranchised mm -hmm. um, to the benefit of President Bush. I see. This was the last election or the one before? Uh, well, it's a good question. Okay. <laughs> um, and that would be, the, the, I, I would hope that there would be a documentary at the time on the, the votes that uh, John Kennedy stole, uh, his father bought out of Illinois as well. Could be. Yeah. Okay, because you know I have a certain tendency to be balanced uh, mm. in that debate. Sure. Um, I'm curious about uh, one area called multimedia, mm. new multimedia. Mm. What is that area and how did you deal with it in this? Sure. Yeah. Um, various uh, disciplines are converging as, as they come to share technology. So for example, um, post-production special effects in film the equipment used for that, the hardware and software, is very similar to the hardware and software used in video games. So there are aspects of the two industries that are coming together. Likewise, you see films being made by and for cell phones. So you see, you see crossover between industries that were formerly separate. Mm -hmm. um, so and you're featuring these kinds of films. Yeah, we have a program called Kinotech that looks at film and games, film and cell phones, film and the web things like that. That's fascinating. Mm. And, and what, uh, what do you think the ratio is between documentaries and narrative in films? Our in our festival, um, in the feature side, it's about two to one. Two to one narrative or fiction films versus one third documentaries. Mm -hmm. So of the 97 feature films, feature length, not short films, about 25 to 30 of those are documentaries. I see. Now tell me how you personally, some, some films you're actually anxious to mm. not only see again, because I'm sure you've seen many of them. Well, mm. many of them, you maybe have not seen all of them. No, my programming department has seen them all, but I've yes. seen only a fraction of them. What, what, uh, what does Graham uh, mm. personally want to see, uh, e either for yourself or you want to watch the reaction With of an the audience? audience? Yeah. yeah. I want to see the Wayward Cloud, Chiming Liang's film from Taiwan. Could you describe that a little bit? Well, in a word, it's a pornographic musical. A <laughs> pornographical musical. Mm. It does it have a narrative? Uh, yeah, it's okay. about a young man who works in the porn business, and uh, oh, so it's a story about someone. Yes, in okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's set in Taiwan. It's a very, very good filmmaker who's made a lot of films uh, mm -hmm. to date. Uh, Iberia, Carlos Saura's dance film in, from Spain. Uh, I'm interested in the Two Alloy Orchestra musical mm -hmm. accompaniment with silent films on this coming Sunday. That would be the twenty. Third, mm -hmm. um, the Eagle and uh, Not So Quiet Silence, we're calling it. I'm interested in those. What will that be like? Where, where are you going to stage that? In the Castro, in of the, course, beautiful, the beautiful, Castro. beautiful movie palace. And how, will you, how is it going to be set up? Uh, is it, mm. is it, it's not live. Or, uh, it is live. It is live. Yeah, we'll show a silent film, and then the Alloy Orchestra is um, a three-piece band 
uh, plays mainly percussion instruments, mm -hmm. but you know, like xylophone is a percussion instrument, so they make a lot of noise. And at the one o'clock show on Sunday, uh, they'll be having kids up on stage to show them how they do it, and then they'll be giving them noisemakers so they can play along during oh, the film. That's terrific. So perfect for families. Are there any films that you think are, are significant films that are going to go on beyond this festival that will be premiering at this festival, but you think have some worldwide uh, uh, Yeah, demand? there's several. Of the 97 features, roughly 18, 90 of them, or 18 or 19 of them will be in the theaters, and some of those will have a long life. Uh, for example, um, the Al Franken film, Al Franken, God Spoke, looking at that political comedian's uh, last book tour. So I think that will do well in theaters. Um, also, Who Killed the Electric Car? That was fascinating when I saw that. What's mm. it, what is that about? Well, uh, there's some question about whether um, the big five automakers sort of conspired against true development and marketing of electric cars because that would really turn the auto industry upside down. So it's, it's a documentary. Yeah, in fact, it's a murder mystery. It's a murder. How, <laughs> who, why killed, would you who killed the electric Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it is a, it's, yeah, it's it's a, a documentary. I see. Yeah. Um, and are there any other films that you think that will be heading for theaters? And, and um, with success, perhaps. Yeah, let me think for a minute. Uh, Prairie Home Companion, a closing night film, will be a blockbuster success. Tell us about it. It's Robert Altman's newest film. Oh, I see. Is it, he's not premiering it here. Uh, no, it premiered in, in Austin, Texas. I see. Um, but Lily Tomlin and Virginia Madsen and maybe some other cast members will be coming. It's our closing night film. Oh, it's already uh, limited tickets available still. Is, is Mr. Altman coming? Mr. Altman's not coming, but there's word that a number of the cast members will Well, come. that's terrific, though. Mm. Um, now, you're also honoring Ed Harris. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. I'm very fond of Ed Harris, and I know that he's extremely well respected by people in the city and in the industry. Yes. An actor's actor. Never, that's correct. Never throws away a part. I mean, that's he's right. fantastic. He'll be here at the Castro a week from fri Friday, which will be April 28th. Um, and we're doing a tribute with him and showing a film that he's very fond of called A Flash of Green that he made in the mid-80s with a very good American independent filmmaker uh, named Victor Nunez. Mm -hmm. And some others that you're honoring this year? Werner Herzog, the director who made Grizzly Man. Okay. Guy Madden, Canadian filmmaker. Jean-Claude Carrière, who's probably perhaps the best screenwriter alive today still, wrote Bunuel's first five films. And um, also Tilda Swinton, the great Scottish actress who was the Ice Queen in Narnia recently, and uh, he'll, she'll give our State of Cinema address. That is terrific. So, uh, do you? How long have you been the executive director at the film? About five months. Five months. Mm. Well, now before that. Before that, I was at the Film Society of Lincoln Center in New York, which runs the New York Film Festival oh, and the Museum of Modern Art. How long did you were you involved with the film festival in, San, in New York? In New York, uh, overall about twelve years. Okay, well that's even better because what I was going to ask you is the evolution of San Francisco's film festival mm. within the matrix of all mm. uh, festivals. Sure. Tell me, tell me about how it's respected now and especially out of New York. Sure, sure, good question. Um, well, as you know, when the festival was founded in 1957, it was the first film festival in the Americas. So it's now the longest running film festival from Alaska to Argentina. Uh, that's nothing to be sneezed at. I mean, that's no. a major accomplishment. 49th year, 49th this year, year is your 49th anniversary. 50 next April. And during that time, no festival in the country has done more for the people of its city than San Francisco. It's an extraordinary festival. Um, San Francisco is not a major, major market like New York or Los Angeles is. It's what you, it's a, it's a secondary market in some regard. When you say market, you mean? In terms of media, uh, in terms of industry buying, in terms of things like that, and in just in terms of sheer numbers. I mean, there's maybe six million people in the Bay Area or something like that, but there's eight million in New York City. Yeah. And uh, do you mean that? Do you, do you mean out of the film fest, or just out of the industry in San Francisco, the independent? We're talking about independent film, of course. Yeah. Or yeah, we're talking about independent film. Although that itself is a is a complicated um, subject nowadays. What's independent? What's yeah. I, I guess I meant that the studio work is still in Los Angeles or Vancouver. It is, but if you're in New York, for example, there's a ton of independent buyers, people buying for the boutique arms of the major studios, Miramax for Disney, uh, Fox Searchlight for, for 20th Century Fox, Sony Classics for Big Sony. We don't have that endemic, independent boutique buying 
industry in San Francisco. You have it in Los Angeles, you have it in New York. You don't have it in another city. Mm. So New York and Los Angeles are the two major and the only two major film markets in the country. Chicago, San Francisco, Miami, uh, Boston, those are smaller markets. So um, the, uh, that dictates the nature of the festival. It's not a major buying festival. I see. Be that's got good sides and bad sides. The good side is we don't have the same commercial pressures here, so we can be very innovative, mm -hmm. very interesting, and almost like purists in mm -hmm. what we show. So, so are you saying that, at, for example, at the San yeah. at New York Film Festival, yeah. there is a lot of um, commercial pressure dealing oh, yeah. going on? Yeah. I don't mean corrupt dealing. No, 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 no. Of course not. I meant, but there, it's a market as yes. well as a festival. Yes. I mean, a festival in its truest term, uh, use of that term, festival. Yes. It's more like a bazaar almost then. Yes. But here it's more of a creative... Uh, here it's for our audience. It's for the people of San Francisco. Yeah. And that's extraordinary. Tell me about the people of San Francisco as film viewers versus the people uh, that attend the film festival in New York. In New York? Well, um, that's a good question. The... I wouldn't, f for a minute, disparage New, New York filmgoers. I mean, we, okay. had, we had great filmgoers. Of course. Here, um, the same is true. I mean, it's extraordinary in a city that's, you know, much smaller than New York City. That there's still probably as great a percentage of very discerning, discriminating filmgoers. And educated. And educated and progressive. With their eyes. Yeah, I yeah, see. And absolutely. progressive. Yeah. Um, that's, in fact, why we have so many documentaries. At the New York Film Festival, we maybe showed two or three f documentaries. Here we show 15 times that number. In, the, in, the, in, in San Francisco or the Bay Area, though, do yeah. we have a, a, a significant number of important filmmakers, independent filmmakers? Um, it depends how you define important, but there's a very, very strong filmmaking community in the Bay Area. Yeah. And in the film festival itself, how much... Of, uh, how much local work? Yes, indeed. Um, well, our job is to find the best films in the world. In the world. I understand. So to the extent that, a, that one of the best films in the w world is made by a Bay Area filmmaker, we're happy to show it. But um, we don't program by zip code. Of course. But how many do you think are in this festival? In this festival, um, I know there's at least a couple of dozen oh, Bay that's Area terrific. filmmakers. Yeah. That is wonderful. Many of them short filmmakers, yeah. but there's also... Uh, the Bridge by Eric Steele, Beyond the Call by Adrian Bellish, and uh, Runner's High, which is a fantastic documentary by Justine Jacob out of the East Bay, which is playing on Monday night. Uh, it's remarkable. You've been here at this position for five months, yeah. and you totally, you're totally the director, it's clear. I mean, you know, what, uh, th that's terrific. I'm a quick study. Well, that shows. Plus, the strengths and virtues of this area are, are readily apparent. Okay. I mean, this is a fantastic place to be, and uh, you'd have to be a fool to overlook how good it is. Good. Well, we, uh, we're pleased to have you Thank as you, the Art. executive director, and we wish you a successful festival. Thanks. If folks want to know more, we're at sffs.org. And I will put a link at our site. Thank you. Okay. Great. Uh, we'll be right back. Please stay with us.